I'm tapped to doing like 11 seconds like this. Guys, this is not new. This is like so like old school shit. No, no, steady. So you guys, just real simple. I'm just gonna pull guard into butterfly. So just grab your, your partner, who you can grab their head and grab an inside tie. Super simple. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna step my foot in the middle. I'm gonna step both in the middle and I'm just gonna sit. So when I sit, I'm pulling my opponent over my body. So it's just a guard pull. As you guard pull, you lift him with one hook. Now you just stay, <laughs> stay forward. Forward, it's okay, I'm gonna, I wanna show. So I threw him over me, and then now you see how his leg is here? I'm just, after I pulled him over me, I'm gonna shoot this leg through, keep this one, and then wrap this leg around like that. And then the moment that this happens, you're pulling single leg X, which is what most people call it now. In the old days, we just said, you're going for a leg lock. <laughs> so single leg X is now this, or Ashigurami. And now once you guys are here, the, the heel is exposed right now. So I'm just gonna lift my body up, I lift my hip, and I'm gonna go right towards it. And then the moment that you're here, pinch, lift my bottom, my elbow strikes back, and then I'm gonna hook. Palm facing away, lock my hands, and then you guys that are beginners, be very careful with this move, okay? Because this can really hurt. Um, yeah, I'm pulling this heel. Here's my mechanics. I'm pulling this heel towards my face. I'm, I'm trying to bring my hand towards my shoulder. Different ways to kind of think about it. I'm crunching this up, like pulling it this way, like this. Yeah. And then now I'm gonna activate my, I'm squeezing my legs, but I'm activating my hip and I'm gonna bridge as you do a bridge. I'm not turning like this. If I turn, we will roll uh -huh. and you guys will be here. It's not like I'm trying to turn this heel. It's more of a clamp and then I'm trying to, uh -huh. you see which way, I'm gonna do it without the Instead heel hook so you guys can understand. I'm doing this. Okay, so I'm trying to do this to him. Imagine if his heel was still in this area and his knee stayed there. See that? So, and that way a guy doesn't just roll out. Okay, so reach out, grab onto your opponent. You know, maybe I'm looking to grab his legs and, and, and attack him. And a lot of these guys stand up straight in ADCC. Really yeah, not like this. No, no, no. They're, they're, they're here. So. They're kind of wide open for this kind of movement because they're not bent over. If a guy was bent over, it's hard to get under him. So if you were to pull guard now, he'll drop down, drop, drop. And then now you, you've pulled into butterfly guard. Mm -hmm. So, but if a guy's more upright, this is one of the best attacks to use because it gets you right into your guard game and it also helps you maybe get a finish. So my feet are gonna be in the middle. So I pull. And I lift, and my leg, you see how my leg just wrapped around? Yeah. And then as you wrap around, you know, put the clamp on, and then there it is, right there, and get that finish. This leg right here Monitor, huh? could stop his rotation. See my right foot? Yeah. It's stopping him. Like, it doesn't mean the end of the world on your heel hook, but I don't want him to be able to step around. So stepping around would be like that. See that? So yeah. this leg is trying to monitor that. So if he tried, it would be hard. And then I'm arching and pulling. Okay, and getting the finish. And Gordon literally just submitted a guy in like 11 seconds doing that. It was over before it even started. We were like, we, you know, we look, oh, the match is gonna start. And we're trying to watch, watch the other the match too. Over. Cause it was uh, the semifinals, I believe. And the moment that we like started the match. You never think something's gonna happen in the first few seconds. It was just over. Um, in the real team match technology, Gordon Ryan pulling right under the leg. Oh, oh, Jake Jake heel straight okay. heel hook immediately gets the tap. So, pretty cool. Pull the guy right mm -hmm. into you. Left leg is huge, huh? Yeah, yeah if, you know, obviously if you're trying to be aggressive and you're, you're pushing towards me, I just draw I just, I drop underneath and I'm pulling him over my body like I'm trying to chuck him. But then once he feels that, he stabilizes, okay? 
So, once you're here, and then you can blink. I'm not gonna see that. Blink. And there's a million different ways that you guys are gonna end up in the position. Like, like maybe it'll look the way I showed. That's kind of how we're doing it. But sometimes the guy will put the brakes on and he'll be standing straight up. You know, sometimes he won't, you, like the last one I just did, it's almost like I'm backward rolling. It'll, you'll backward roll right into the heel. Sometimes you won't backward roll. Sometimes the guy will just do this. Like, yeah, so, so when I catch him, I'll take him over and he'll just stand straight up and he'll just be here. See that? Yeah. And then the guy will tap right here. Yeah, it's the so it, it, it can change. It doesn't have to look the same every single time. Okay, let's give it a shot. This is an awesome move. One, two, three. White belts. Don't hurt your training partners. Check with your coaches to see if you guys are allowed to do this in your training. Um, there are places, many places, especially in the gi, they usually do not like uh, heel hooks. Um, I know that, that that's changing, uh, and I'm glad that that stigma is changing, but there probably is some places that say, hey, you have to be a certain level to do this move. So, and I understand that because this move can injure you. It's not as devastating as the inverted heel hook, generally speaking. However, this can still pop your leg and a lot of people don't know when to tap. So I'm not doing a, a lesson on that right now, but briefly I'll say, um, remember this, your leg will usually pop or sometimes your ankle can pop, but usually your knee will pop and it'll pop before you feel the pain. So the pop happens, the pain happens because damage is done, then you tap out. So you have to recognize the feeling that, you know, we, the example that's been told forever is, you know, you have like a, a directly against the joint and that feels like pain, but when you take that finger and you twist it sideways or even rotational twisting, it just feels like tension. It doesn't feel like uh, it doesn't feel like a normal submission, like an arm bar, or imagine a wrist lock. A wrist lock is great because when somebody hits you with a wrist lock, you you really feel the pain of the wrist lock, and you can tap, and um, you know you don't want to jerk this thing because you can really wreck somebody's knees. So, all right, guys, be safe. Teach me grappling. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time with more great stuff. Now I'm hooking here. Mm. See that? So here, arching back. I've got a lot of pressure right here. Try to move your leg. Mm. Yeah, try to like, there's mm. nowhere to go, right? Mm -hmm. Can you pull your leg out? Mm. Yeah, like get up and start sliding your leg out. Yeah, look at this, like crawl that way. See how like, yeah, I'm crazy. attached to his leg. Mm -hmm. And I don't have a lock, but I'm attached. And then now when this comes back, hooking the heel, I, I didn't talk a lot about this, but try not to use this fatty part. It's not fat, it's muscle, but you know, I'm, I'm solid. <laughs> the, this soft part, don't hook it here. Although this can work, I'm not saying it can't. We wanna try to bring our elbow, like we're elbow striking back and I'm pinching those toes, locking them down right here with pinch of my armpit and the radial bone, palm facing away, not like this, but here, this is gonna give us a nice hook and then now I'm thinking more, not pulling this way and turning, as I said before, but I'm gonna arch back and I'm pulling my lock towards my shoulder, my jaw. Mm. I don't wanna hurt you and I want you to know that you're in some danger right now. Mm -hmm. You feeling that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See that? And then my back arch, yeah. So you don't know yet, but that's gonna pop your knee. Mm -hmm. So you gotta, you should be tapping around okay. there. So again, just another example, like it sounds super weird because it sounds like you're like you're this, this kind of charlatan, you know, like, so I sound like a charlatan, like the, the a karate guy goes, eh, I hit you here and you die, you know, but so you just have to believe me, just fall down because if you don't fall down, I'll kill you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I don't want to sound too much like that, but the thing is, I have to say it because you guys, you guys are going to get popped. And you know what? I think everybody learns eventually by getting popped. The crappy part is when you get popped bad on your first time. You know what I mean? You don't, I, I always want someone to get hurt a little 
so that they learn and respect. It's like getting burned by the fire. I want you to touch the hot stove and go, ah, oh, that's hot. I just don't want you to fall into the fireplace and then you burn up, right? So I don't want your whole body to fall. You don't need that for the lesson. But, but just know that, that it's gonna, when it starts to get tight and you can't move, it's time to tap. And don't listen to me and then get popped and then we'll hope that the pop doesn't put you out for very long and you heal really fast. So those are your choices. Or just resist it completely, let them bust your ACL and then, you know, and then get surgery. So that's your other option. So, okay, go. Uh, 